Nebraska's third district, is tops in all of Congress when it comes to agriculture. And Congressman Adrian Smith makes it clear trade matters to central Nebraska. You know, we're, we're more of a manufacturing state than we probably give ourselves credit for. Congressman Adrian Smith says it's often overlooked. I'm inspired by Nebraska's involvement in the world. Nebraska products travel the world over, from our corn and beef to the tools we make to help others raise a crop. TNL Irrigation, they sell pivots worldwide. Tom Hastings saw that firsthand in his many years running the Hastings Chamber of Commerce. We have a lot of manufacturing in Nebraska, as well as agriculture. I mean, agriculture is our number one industry, but honestly, manu manufacturing is a big part of what goes on here in Nebraska. He listens closely as Smith lays out his vision for trade. Smith is chair of the Ways and Means Subcommittee on Trade and says it's one way to improve things around the globe. For, for folks concerned about environmental standards uh, that lack in other countries and in labor standards, trade agreements are the best way to address that and to level the playing field, realizing that other countries uh, have had more access to our markets than they've given us access to their markets, and we need, we need to correct that. Smith disagreed with President Trump's tariffs, but says he elevated trade and got a new train deal accomplished with Mexico and Canada with bipartisan support. But he's concerned President Biden hasn't spoken up as Mexico appears to have violated that agreement by shutting out one of Nebraska's top exports, Corn. Obviously, with uh, U.S. agriculture being a powerhouse and its efficiency, we need to make sure uh, we can sell our products around the world. Asked about Ukraine, Congressman Smith says Putin is wrong and no one wants Russia to win. He says the U.S. should keep all options open. NTV's Grow promises to bring you all the news and trends surrounding agriculture in Nebraska.